Hey guys, Dark Knight Flyer back again, hosting another podcast episode, episode 5 of the Night Flyer podcast, St. Patrick's special, or edition, whichever I choose to pick and call it. But before we get into the podcast, I want to re- remind everybody that you can check out the highlights and previous episodes, give them a like if you like them and comment on them, like questions or anything. Usually if I'm taking questions from comment sections, I will take comments from the current episode so this episode is the current one and yeah you can also share it around and subscribe if you're new you can also turn on notifications so that you get notifications every time this channel uploads a video thank you so much for listening and uh, now we're just gonna go straight into this so as per normal news trends uh, channel and questions but in between news and trends and channel we have the saint patrick segment as i hinted on about last week not too much uh, exciting but Gary Likes You actually uh, gave me better things to talk about. So um, i just going to talk about them, bro. So as I said last week, let's just jump into it. So news. I don't know. Like sometimes the, the news ones just make sense. Like the first point I have here, I literally wrote these today, by the way. So uh, what makes Apex Legends so fun? That's not even news. That That's literally just me asking myself what makes it so fun. I don't know. Maybe I should have put that in the questions for myself. But I don't know. Because I think it's important as well to talk about Apex Legends and Fortnite. So we can have it in the tags of the video. Um, literally no other reason. Uh, of course, I mentioned Fortnite. And I just mentioned it there again. So I can definitely put it in the tags. Um, but sorry, I'll actually go on um, why Apex Legends is so fun. And it's weird as well, actually, how it is fun, but, like, not updating as regularly as, um, Fortnite. Like, uh, Fortnite just said got home here. They just, uh, announced the baller, and I probably should turn, ah, no, I'll turn on my Xbox after the podcast. I'll download that update. Um, but other than that, uh, why is it fun? I don't know. I think it's just because I'm sick of Fortnite, just because, well, not even fully like i'm not fully done with fortnite but i'm just sick of like people sweating on me when i'm trying to do a challenge and when you're obviously doing a challenge as well that's what really fucking pisses me off like man i'm just here for the battle pass i'm not here to like enter the next fucking fortnite tournament like calm down or maybe i've just gone even worse but honestly i look at my mates and see what they do that's really good And I've kind of adopted that unintentionally, like taking my pickaxe in and out and building and instantly going back to a gun or pickaxe. I don't know. I guess I just pick up on them habits just from watching my mates every... Because I actually die first, uh, let's just mention that as well. Rarely is it, like, a time where I'm in a game with, like, Lynx, for example, and, like, I'm alive with him through the whole end. It's probably, like, two matches out of ten that will happen, maybe even two out of twenty. But, uh, yeah... But moving on from that, sorry, we'll actually talk about why Apex is fun. I don't know, I think Apex is just a nice... It's like... It's gotten the... It's kind of got the popularity of Fortnite. But it's gotten the good stuff from Blackout. And just... Bam! Just put that in. And like... Get to slide down shit. And I think the ping system is what really makes work. Because recently, like, I've been just bored to death with some games. So I've like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to play Apex by myself. And... I've honestly had so much fun doing it. Like, I don't know why I haven't done it sooner. Now, I'm not saying that I shouldn't play with mates and they're fucking garbage. I'm definitely... No, I'm, just, I, I'm joking. Um, no, but it's, like, it's weird how well, like, some people can still, like, work with you. Like, all the time, I will ping shit for you. I will ping... Like, if I'm Jump Master, I will be like, all right, let's ju- uh, jump here and let's jump there. But, I don't know, sometimes you come across them dickheads, they're like, well, I, 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 I'm not going to help you, bro. I got, like, 500,000 damage with Bangalore smoke grenades. <laughs> Man, imagine that, though. That'd be fucking... That'd be class, actually. <laughs> that would, I'd have to question that person, because I'm kind of a Bangalore main, along with my boy Jack Jacksepticeye. He's kind of a Bangalore main as well. I might watch him again. Like, if he streams again on Twitch, I might watch his uh, Apex stream. It's really fun. Um, Oh, bracket there. Rip. I just realized there's a bracket on the last point of news, but, like, you know, oof. Anyway, moving on to the next point. Uh, It's weird that I bring this back up, but it snowed in Ireland. Again. And, um, pretty much, 
I think we should just rename Sunday to Snow Day. Because, like, that's happened twice in a row. That never fucking happens in Ireland. Or As far as I'm aware, and as far as I've been alive, 18 years and a half, it's never happened. Where, like, it snowed twice exactly on Sundays. Because I don't even think it snowed today. Oh, of course it's nice and sunny when I was trying to bring the laptop home. By the way, laptop's in the back. Oh, he wants me. One second. Uh, let's see. Try it again. Skip. Uh, right. Okay, hopefully he continues. There's a few files that's not transferring and it's kind of scaring me now. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully I can still get shit over. Anyway, sorry, enough about that. Um, but yeah, snow in Ireland, it's kind of creeped me out. I feel like fucking something's coming. Like, if, if Life is Strange has taught me anything, if it fucking, if it's like that, the weather's all acting weird, you might want to bounce before something happens. But, um, yeah. Anyway, let's just move on real quick. So, um, Disney and Fox, uh, their deal is closing. Now, I just need to real quickly just look something up about that. Because, as I said, I literally just wrote down the points today. And most of these were provided by Gary Likes You. So, I am not up to date. So, uh, what am I, what's the deal? Fucking Netflix and Fox. Uh, news. What? Nah. Wait. Deal closing. So, I'm going to look up deal instead. Because it says fucking Netflix is going to get a thing. When does Disney Plus launch? Sorry, all I'm seeing is Netflix taking on fucking, um... Whatchamacallit, a, a legal battle against Hollywood. I actually want to talk about this real quick. What is this? Funny enough, actually, it's a follow-up from last week's story. Let me read this from uh, Bitnenny uh, website, bitnenny.com. They literally just posted this as well. So, uh, Hollywood has much to fear from video streaming giant Netflix. Now that Netflix is in, uh, crouched for coaching on its territory at the Oscars, there is a tectonic shift that is about to occur in television industry as well. Netflix currently streams close to 300 original shows on its platform. That is more than the collective shows aired on television. In close uh, to four years, Netflix has streamrolled over its television syndicated uh, counterparts, with close to 75% of American households now choosing the online platform to gain uh, to acquire their entertainment. Okay, so if you don't know... um. This clown last week, what the, Steven Spielberg, um, he 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 was just like, lol, uh, Netflix should no or uh, Netflix and other streaming services should go nowhere near the Oscars. And I said last week, he's just fucking jealous. He literally is like, I have no other way of saying it. He just is jealous that Netflix is doing so much better than what he's doing right now. And now. It looks like a fucking uh, legal case is on it now. Like, it just says here, Netflix now takes on Hollywood in court. So, yeah, if you want to keep me up to date on that, I'll uh, try and talk about it. Like, if anything interesting actually happens, if somehow Hollywood win. Um, if they do, I will... Um, I will... I Disclaimer, this is not an actual legal threat. I, I gotta so fucking Hollywood myself. Again, this is not a... Le this is not a legal... <sighs> This is illegal, this, this, this legal, this is, oh my god, I'm so confused. I, this is not a legal threat, there we go, Jesus Christ, okay. Moving on before my fucking brain melts. Uh, Captain Marvel makes $455 million uh, on the weekend opening. And um, I don't know if that's broken any records and stuff, and I know Captain Marvel is female, and uh, it doesn't really matter that. But I think that's uh, a thing that I've been scared of to look at the film. Because I'm always afraid when um, 
in general, just if anybody else there, oh my god, I sound so fucking racist. I'm so sorry. I'm actually not even racist. It's just how like last, uh, so, like some other films I've like heard about, how they go around having like, for example, a woman as a superhero and uh, like on the posters and shit, like you know, women empowerment and all that shit and feminism. Feminism not shite, by the way. It's just the feminazis that ruin everything. But, um... No, yeah. Fair play to um, Captain Marvel uh, making $455 million. I, uh, if I had that amount, I uh, probably would buy my own island. I would get my own uh, Wi-Fi service set up. And I would probably never uh, get off the coast. Because, like, I'd love to be on the coast just all the time. Just breathing that fucking nice salty ocean air. Anyway. Uh, again, congrats. And let's move on. So... The Michael Jackson documentary. Now, this is a recent documentary that's come out, obviously, about Michael Jackson. And I would say this word, but I want to look it up. Just, 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 again, just in case. Like, I don't want to, like, have it come back on me in the future. So, uh, Michael. How's Michael Jackson at first? Let's see. Wait, wait. Was one of them search results kids? Wait, 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 wait. Michael Jackson documentary, documentary, uh, Netflix, kids, movie. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry. Let's just look at documentary. Um, uh, Ty Jackson reveals details of his own Michael Jackson documentary. Drake, I don't care. Just want to look. We know about Michael Jackson history, sexual abuse. Leave a Netherlands review. Oh, is that what it's called? Oh, so that's what the actual documentary is called, by the way. Um, Leaving Netherlands. People don't like it. Oh, oh, oof. Let's click uh, news. <laughs> Jeff Michael Jackson music sales rise despite harrowing, ha harrowing documentary. Sorry. Um, let's look at Fortune.com and see what they can tell us about Michael Jackson. Yes, I accept your EU policy, uh, privacy stuff. Uh, while some radio stations dropped or cut back on playing Michael Jackson's music after HBO's documentary Leaving Netherlands gave details, accounts of sexual abuse by the singer, sales and streams actually shows increased. So he's got 10% more. I want to know what actually it is because I, I see there sexual abuse, but... Hmm. Well, to be fair, no, again, like, I don't want his company coming back on. Like, if he, like, of course, there's obviously people behind there. Uh... Okay, so pretty much, like, he's sexually abusive. I don't want to say too much more than that. Because, like... Okay, this is going to be stupid, but, um... Just need to confirm. Just need to confirm. Okay, yeah, he did die. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, Michael Jackson. Um, apparently, he was a sexual abuser. Uh, weird that. Uh, actually, yeah, it took ten years for that to come out. Cause he died in uh, two thousand nine. It's two thousand nineteen. What a coincidence that is. Hello. What? Hello. Hello. Two. Hello. Oh. That I, I, I know I did wrong, sorry. No, I just need to make sure there's no technical difficulties and I actually need to make sure it's still recording. Yeah, okay. Um Michael Jackson, yes, he is um He he has passed away like ten years ago. He he did what he did, honestly, like of course, if he was alive, he'd have more stick. Like, he'd be given more stick. But honestly, I don't know, man. It's so weird, because, like, I don't know, there is references to him still to this day, and it's so fucking weird how, like, you know, like, they revealed that he was a sexual abuser. And how the fuck did they find out? Did, they, did he just, like, le le eh, legit, like, would he just... I don't know, man. To think he would be 60 years old if he survived, or lived today, sorry, not survived. Man, that's weird. Anyway, uh, moving on. I've not really much comment about it. Like, uh, 
It, it's, it is really weird. And sorry, I'm not really deep, diving deep into it. Most of the titles are kind of swaying away from it too much. They're just saying, oh, sexual abuse, and then just fucking tying it into something else, like uh, sales of their his music. So, yeah. Uh, next, uh, Krispy Kreme opens deliveries. Now, as far as I'm aware, my friend has been telling me this is like a donut company. I need to look it up again, because I forget shit really easy currently. Krispy Kreme. Our donuts. Yes, please. I'd like to see our donuts. Fuck, now I'm actually... St oh, Nutella. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to cry. Rhesus. Oh, my God. Oh, Dublin's brilliant. Is that the... Oh, I think that's the one he was on about. The Dublin sp uh, Sprinkles. The St. Patrick's one. Let me click into this. Um, But, yeah. Apparently, they do deliveries now. So, if you want to order yourself a donut, if you have one nearby, just, you know, just ask. Well, not even ask, just order. A signature. Oh, th this is their signature. Where's the St. Patrick's one? My account, zero. Yeah, see, at the top of their website, there's like a zero items and a shopping trolley. So, obviously, you can actually, like, yeah, the delivery right here. I'm gonna just. Oh, yeah, it is where I live. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Um. Yeah, honestly, my, um, oh, on Just Eat, ooh, oof, uh, let's, let's back up there, but man, I don't know, man, I actually really want a fucking donut, oh my, why'd you have to mention donuts, man, like, actually, oh my god, strawberry gloss, it's like, that's like fucking nail polish, but so cool, I want to eat it, what time is that? Can I, like, how much would it be? Anyway, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'll leave that open for me uh, myself afterwards there now. But, um, yeah, if you want to know, uh, Krispy Kreme have deliveries. I'm not sponsored by them. My friend was just asking about it, and he loves Krispy Kreme, as, the, as it seems. And, uh, well, the last episode, he did ask about uh, if there's going to be a sequel to the uh, Rainbow Donut. And uh, potentially with Krispy Kreme. We we need I I need Krispy Kreme to sponsor this podcast and I will make the third uh, uh rainbow donut video. All right. Now, as per normal on these live streams, we like to update everybody on the battle between PewDiePie and T Series to keep it relevant, yay, and to keep myself uh going up kinda. So yeah. Um. So let's real quick. I don't know why I don't open any of these in advance, but then again, I did say at the start, like, you know, I have my reason that kind of just came in. It was like, lol, it's uh, time. T Series defeats PewDiePie twice and comes back. Ooh. Yeah, I know he, they bet him once. Why did I click on his actual channel? Oh my god, Joe, you spa. Okay, there we go, sorry. 100. Th nah, wait, 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 wait. Mr. or Flare TV. He has 113 million views, and his live stream is still going now. Like, what the fuck? Man, that is so weird. Oh, my God. T-Series have gotten more subs today, and it's below 5,000. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Um, so, hopefully, when you guys listen to this, you should, act, uh, you know, make sure you subscribe to PewDiePie with as many fucking channels as you have, and... Uh, also, make sure to, um, you know, at least get him to 100 mil. I think I'll probably stop the battle by then. I'll be like, you know what? It's over. It's it's dead now. Even though it's all... Like, I think it started at fucking 40 mil. Or was it 50? I don't know. Maybe even 60. Man, that's mad. No, yeah, it definitely was after um, 50 mil. Because teasers was not a thing when uh, he got his ruby button. Or at least not in our eyes. Um, fuck. Now, see, that little, um, Krispy Kreme donut logo is their website, uh, logo, and it's just there. It's just fucking tempting me right now. Ugh. Oh, I want one. Anyway. Um, but if you didn't know, Mr. Beast, uh, hosted Beam Review with his mates, and T-Series uploaded the, uh, Desperation video where, like, we are about to... Okay, this is gonna be racist. I, I better not fucking say it like that. So they pretty much were saying... Um, we're going to be number one soon, or on the brink of number one, so please, India, uh, subscribe to us, and yeah, I'm I'm sorry, but the fucking accent has to kick in. 
oh man, I need to be careful what I say on this. Anyway, the last news topic to talk about is Anthem players organizing boycott over its loot system. And as f I don't know why, honestly. But then again, the grind must be way too hard or you have to pay for too much or the game's just buggy as shit. Um, so, honestly, Anthem players, do your thing. I just wish us Destiny players could, like, I don't know, ask for, like, the DLC to be lowered if they're going to have Eververse. Because, honestly, I'd rather pay, like, maybe at least, like, 30 for Forsaken instead of 40. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a weirdo when it comes to fucking Destiny. I, I love Destiny too much and I have too much of a strong... Uh, op or not opinion, but strong love for Bungie shit, so don't ask me about uh, Destiny. And maybe you shouldn't ask me about Anthem either, because I, I don't know. I don't really see it as competition, I just see it as there, as a broken mess, just like Destiny once was, or, well, kind of still. Actually, no, Destiny's not even that bad. It's actually pretty stable uh, recently as well. Yeah. So, if anything, give Anthem time, or at least, hopefully, um, EA let... No, it's not Respawn. They do Anthem, or uh, EA... Yeah, 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 yeah. Apex. What's the other company? There's Respawn. Bioware. There you go. Hopefully Bioware get a chance to uh, thing. And if I said that wrong as well, I'm sorry. You can go um, punch me in the face next time you see me. Okay. M maybe not directly in the face. Maybe just like tit. Like, you know, just chest. That that probably still hurt, but like, you know, I still need my face. Anyway, that is the end of the new segment. Hooray! Let's go! Oh my god. I need to fucking stop. Anyway. I keep saying anyway because I literally have no fucking English anymore. My English is so fucking bad. That I have to put like swear words in between just to make... Like just to fatten out the sentences. But anyway. Next segment is the occasion section. And for this time around it's going to be the St. Patrick's segment. Maybe I should just point this towards this way. Because I keep looking this way. And it's probably so annoying for people to hear me like this instead of like this. Talking directly into the mic, like, pff, pff, buh, buh, pff. sorry. Um, so Gary likes you has provided a course for the St. Patrick's segment as well, and he asks, "Can you give us your interpretation of how St. Patrick's Day began?" Well, well, well. Um, simply put, I'm not even going to meme. It's pretty much based on like St. Patrick's and. Uh, the story of St. Patrick's actually, and maybe like the day he banished the evil, or well, snakes as people literally think they are. Um, but yeah, um, either way, if he actually did banish snakes, uh, thank you. Um, I don't really like the look of snakes. I don't think they deserve to be in this country. That's just my opinion. If any snakes are watching this in the future, I'm sorry. I'll change my way. If um, all animals uh, deserve equal rights, I will give them to you. Um, Please do not uh, inject me with venom. Uh, that'd be very, very fucking helpful. I'd like to live a decent life. You know, I'll probably have kids by that time if, um, like, snakes can fucking talk and think and shit. Then, yeah. But other than that... <coughs> uh, um, so, yeah. I, I, pretty much, he banned this... Uh, uh, banned? Yeah, he banned the, pretty much the snakes. Or banished the snakes from... Uh, Ireland, good old Ira, um, on the 17th of March, which this year is Sunday, so we get a long weekend, so thank you, St. Patrick, for doing what you have in religion and Catholicism and all that shit, just for, just for giving us, like, reasons for days off and reasons to go on diets and so on, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not really big into religion myself, but, you know, thank you. Um, Krispy Kreme are also doing... Oh, yeah, this is the thing I was talking about. So Krispy Kreme are also doing St. Patrick's Day Donuts this weekend. This weekend. I wonder if it's on their website or if it's only the one close here. Don't mess out. Click and collect here. Click and collect. Oh, my God. You can actually just, like, straight up buy, like, share a dozen. Don't miss out. Of course, Dublin. Where else? Um, St. Patrick's Day. St. Pap. Yeah, Patrick's Day. Patrick's Day. Uh, crispy Creme. 
And by the way, Krispy Kreme is spelled with a K, so it's pretty much KK. Uh, green or uh, green or original glazed donuts are back at Krispy Kreme just in time for St. Patrick's Day. The chain announced Thursday the green donuts will be available Friday. March, <laughs> it's more Scottish than anything, but we'll go with it. Uh, Friday, March 15th, Sunday, March 17th. Customers will receive a golden ticket when visiting Krispy Kreme on St. Patrick's Day weekend. And it's the St. Patrick's Day donut. New contest for free donuts for a year. I'm going to fucking Krispy Kreme. Where the fuck is it in my area? I need to look this up afterwards. As I said, afterwards. I'm not fucking doing it now. I have a podcast to finish. So, uh, yeah, I'm very sorry that the St. Patrick's statement isn't any longer. Like, if I just extended out much longer, there'd be no point. I'd, I'd just ramble on about random shit. Um, but actually, one more thing I will say about it. I, I keep thinking to myself, is there really a point for people abroad that aren't Irish like to celebrate that, um, St. Patrick's Day? But that's like at the same time. Why does everybody celebrate Christmas? Why do, like, a lot of people celebrate 4th of July even though they're not American and they don't really care about the freedom? And so on and so forth. Well, I don't know. It's just, I think it's a thing, you know? Like, you know, I, I don't know why it turned into making everything green, though. Because even now, like, when I was younger, I thought it was deadly because I fucking love green. But now I just see it, it's like, ugh. Like, even just looking at that donut, it's kind of like, ugh, I know it's a die, but it fucking looks like Shrek. <laughs> it's just like Shrek's own personal donuts. All you're missing is fucking, um, I don't know, some centipedes or whatever is in the swamp and is a... Here, swamp! What are you doing in my swamp? That's gonna be cut out and edited, hopefully, soon. Anyway, we're gonna move on now. It's enough the occasion section this time around. If I were to predict when I'm doing another occasion section for these podcasts, it'd probably be next month, like during Easter, if I even do uh, an episode during Easter. But yeah, I know there's two definitely due maybe March slash April time, or at least one in April, one to two in April, and maybe one in May. Other than that, let's move on to the channel. So, the highlights of 2018 like that's that's it no question mark no dot just so the highlights of 2018 well hopefully i can have him right now because like i have laptop here he's doing fucking fantastic he's uh breathing really well now i thank my mate so much for like pretty much fixing him man like i, I won't hold my hopes too high yet i want to like make sure everything's transferred first before, like, I start saying, okay, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. So, the Highlights 2018 is currently being transferred onto um, the USB. And, of course, it's not going to be all together. Like, I couldn't save every part of it. I was trying to get, like, nip parts apart so it actually fit. But other than that, I hope to, like, at least drag the main parts. And hopefully, like, them other things I just skipped there aren't actually necessary. Um, because if they are, um, well, fuck, I'm going to have to find a different way to move them over. Unless I use OneDrive, actually. I might try that. If it, if I really need them, but I doubt I'll fucking need them. They're, like, uh, cash, so. You know, I, I just saved little bits just in case, like, that, that was a part of, um, Filmora, the editing software I use for the podcast and for the channels. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. What I would like to change about the podcast. Now, if I'm being honest, like, this series, I just wanted to fucking end. <laughs> We're halfway through, and I'm already like, please fucking kill me. Please finish this. It's only because there's so much restraint on me right now. Like, I have to do certain things to, with the podcast and to the podcast. And, like, I need to make sure I get them out as well at the same time. Um... Which, by the way, mightn't be even this week. I think I might get this out Sunday on purpose. Then have the highlights on Monday or something. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, it's like... I don't know. Well, I do know. I'm just not saying it. Um, I think it's just pretty much, like, the news topics that, like... is kind of holding me. Like, I know I ask for it, but that's because I need to make sure the podcast is at least fleshed out. At least there's fucking something. At least I'm trying to actually run a podcast series. But if I 
would change anything about the podcast. It'd probably be like if I wanted to just do it here and now willy nilly. I would take out news, but then I realized then it just turns into a vlog or a commentary video. Like, what's the point of that? You know, like, might as well just rename this to Night Flyer v uh, Vlogcast. Definitely plenty more for that on the fly. Um, I'd also love to just upload it with uh, video, even though it just this should be a camera staring at me. Like, maybe if I had a guest, I'd be more inclined to do it, but even then, it's just so much... Um... It's too much info for my um, internet to handle, to upload. It would probably take, like, no exaggeration. It would probably take, if this episode was like 40 minutes, it would take four plus hours, may maybe even longer, maybe even six hours just to upload. And I'm not ready for that, man. I need to, like, do other shit first. And that's probably why I haven't even tried to make a skit as long as a movie as well. Just because it takes so fucking long to upload. And I don't want to break it into parts either. Unless it's meant to be an actual series. But, um, yeah. So, that's kind of what I'd change. I'd like to change a few other things. Like, the way it's designed. Currently, it's designed where the timestamp, um, YouTube's timestamp shows. So, I'm going to have to change that round. Um, or, well... I would change it, but I'm too lazy to because, like, the podcast series is li it's literally just, like, six more. There's no point in me changing it now. I might as well just fucking go with it for the rest of it and then change it afterwards. But if I was to do another series, sorry for that. Um, I apologize for being so rude. <laughs> um, I, I'm just a bit windy. Uh, if I was to change anything, I'd probably change the podcast to uh, white and um, white and purple. Like, just as an aesthetic change and to say, hey, this is the new season of the podcast, you know? But, yeah, moving on. Um, what content is currently planned for the channel? Now, as you may know, I um, haven't really done much. Hopefully, an update video is already out or is about to be out. But, I don't know, man. Um, like, hopefully as well, like, once I'm done college, like, I'll have... Maybe a music video, like not just an instrumental, because I can't sing and I don't want to ruin something I fucking worked hard on. Um, gaming, hope to bring gaming back. I would buy an Elgato, but I want to um, back up my files on a storage device, so I'll do that first before anything else. Uh, man, I'm just trying to think now. Uh, content, content. I don't know, because I want to also do another vlog, like, week, a week with Dark Knight Flyer 2, and then, like, a month with Dark Knight Flyer. I, I don't know why. I know people wouldn't fucking like them, but I want to do it. I want to, um, I just want to do it. I want that idea to just be out there that I can do something like that. I'll be like, hey, do this. And, like, especially with the moment. The moment's just so easy. Just, like, pick up the camera on the first day. It'll be like, hey, guys. First day of the month here, and today we're doing this and that. And then once the camera fucking goes off and like goes to the next like uh, clip, it's just like, hey guys, end of the month here. And I'm sorry for not really recording much, but I was very, very lazy. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> It'd actually be the fucking easiest video I've ever done. But no, I'd probably at least try to like record like a little bit, even take pictures like during the time, during the week. Um for that type of video but yeah that's the current content planned um subscriber count going up uh yeah actually on the nightfire podcast a few of my mates from college hey if you're listening um pretty much there like help me out because like we all need to kind of help each other out so if i still haven't done anything for my mates in college yet just let me know i'll um i'll like your shit i'll follow it i'll uh, take a look at it and uh yeah I, I really hope I just don't fucking come off as ignorant for um, not properly uh, engaging with um, other classmates' work for this uh, thing. And, like, to think this podcast still spawned from, like, college. Like, I probably would have never started this if it weren't for college being like, oh, yeah, it's a social media thing. Do this and do that. And I'm like, podcast? And he's like, yeah, podcast. I'm like, yee. Um, but, yeah. Um... Why is that there? I thought that was... Huh. That was a question, not a channel. Oh, I moved up. Yeah, yeah. So, um, as um, you might have heard at the start, Gary Likes You, 
Um, the editing software I use is Filmora uh, 8. It's like the last version of 8 before they went to 9. Because 9, it just went to a pile of wank. It's so, so unusable. Like, I have to stick with 8. Like, it's... It's not exactly the one I always used to use. I used to use uh, Filmora 7, actually. But then, like, 8 is pretty much the last version of Filmora. And then, yeah, it's really confusing. But I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm using. I don't want to bother touch that, like, 9 stuff. It's like, bleh. I don't know. This computer could handle it. But I don't want to move on. Because, like, I've already learned how to use this. Don't introduce me to a new version of your, th like, thing. Just keep it the same. I don't get that, man. Like, you're an editing software, not a company changed their logo like YouTube, just for whatever reason. Like, I know it's probably just to get some, uh, like, buzz around them. I don't know, man. I, I still kind of miss the old YouTube logo. Uh, anyway, uh, can I do live stream ga uh, gaming live streams? Which, by the way, these two questions were submitted by Gary Alexia. I don't know why I haven't got that written down. But, um, now, I don't know. I might. Like, during um, April, I might just be like, you know what, fuck it, let's just... Live stream something on Twitch might be something random, might be something not, but it'd probably be on Twitch. It'd be through my Xbox. It would be three uh, sixty uh, p, and there'd be a lot of lagging. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy that. Right, that is the end of the uh, channel questions, or well, channel inquiries and my questions and Gary likes these questions. And now we'll move on to the questions, which one once again is supplied by a guy who likes you. I might as well pay him at this point because he he is fucking wow. Like every week I put up the tweet, he's just like send. 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 And for this week. Sender. You know, that's like the Saint Saint Patrick's. Okay, never mind. Anyway, um he asks a very political question which I'm going to tackle uh, I'm not really good with politics but let's fucking tackle it anyway uh, what are your thoughts on Brexit um, I think they should just stay with the EU I know I probably don't even deserve to say shit about it since I've like sure I am British but I haven't been like in England like for um, or well I haven't lived in England for uh, 17 and a half years so so, yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I kind of just went off on a thing, I was, I was trying to think of, like, a quip, or it's just something I forgot, eh, just something I could say, it's just like, but this, that, and the other, you know, but anyway, I hope that answers your question, by the way, um, are there some videos, uh, that you wish you've never made? Um, I was also going to look through this, I was going to look through some old videos, be like, oh, I wish I never did that. Uh, genuinely though, on Joe's Night Flyer, I know a lot of them are fucking cringy as fuck. But I'm glad I took that step to put myself out there. Like, at first you can tell, like, I'm quiet-ish. I don't exactly say... No, I think actually I was pretty excited. Because I think I heard it from other YouTubers. They're like, ah, oh, just put yourself in there and make it happy and stuff. And keep high energy and stuff. And, you know. But man... Oh, every time, like even a 2015 video when I listen to it, I'm like, was my voice really that squeaky then? Am I going to listen to this in like 10 years or 5 years time and be like, wow, I was squeaky during this podcast. How the fuck did I run this? But nah, I, I think this is a decent time or maybe just to my ears it is anyway because I feel like I'm just like, yeah, I'm just, it's nice and calm, it's uh, nice and soothing. Uh, that oh by the way that content um I meant to also mention that an ASMR may or may not be planned I don't know if I'll do it soon but yeah so that is something um so yeah let's just move on to the next question what is your favorite thing about college my favorite thing about college there's a lot of, I actually like about college um. For a start, um, weirdly enough, I do... I, it's weird. I kind of feel like a teenager, but an, a, an adult at the same time. Like, I still feel like I shouldn't be doing certain things, but I also feel, like, empowered to do certain other things. Like, you know, j just even taking the bus, like, a public bus, that's different for me, because I've always taken um, private buses. Uh, maybe when I was younger, I, I used to go with my ma, like, on the bus, but that's it. 
Um, uh, favorite thing? Oh, money. Uh, yeah, <laughs> easily enough. Uh, money. Uh, the people in college that I know are very fucking like chill and shit. Like, there's only like the select few that are me. Like, I- I'm not gonna name names. I'm just gonna leave that there as it is. Um, please, lads, do not ask me tomorrow. I probably uh won't say or i could give you the hard truth i don't know don't bully me all of it um it's the reason why i'm fucking quiet and doing work now um what else do i like about college well i like how it's something like sure music is still or was like my second choice at the time but it's probably the best fucking thing for me because i remember panda or well i always mention fucking panda as well every so often um how she's doing gaming development and that was going to be a thing i was going to do as well not because of her but legitimately because i just chose it. i was like yeah fuck it i'll do this because i thought she wanted to be a tattoo artist what the fuck wait that's oh there we go now that was weirding me out the pop filter was kind of getting rid of the circles on the outside record anyway 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 sorry let's get back on track um no but yeah i'm glad it turned out like this i actually do enjoy making music there's a few things I don't like, of course, just like social media and writing up. But then again, social media is what made this, so I kind of am grateful. Even though I kind of want to uh, make this podcast burn to the ground as fast as possible. But uh, yeah, again, hopefully we'll end on 10. Like, I think 10 is just a good number to end on. Like 10 or 12, even though I don't want to go that far, so that's why it's 10. Um, yeah, th- there's some of my favorite things about college. I couldn't list you everything right now, but there's just a few things. Um, do I miss secondary school? Uh, or as I put it there, do you ever miss secondary scolia? Scolia. 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 I don't know, it's weird to say. Um, I weirdly enough don't. The only reason I would miss it is because of Luke. That's it. Um, yeah, he's my only friend there, right? One of my only friends. One of few yeah i just can't think of anybody right now but to be general yeah like as i've said before what what was the point of secondary it's just a big fucking mind game it's like oh remember this or sorry not even mind game just memory game like that's why i keep saying i'm shit at english and maths because i legitimately do not remember it like, if you told me Pythagoras' theorem, I might know a tiny bit about it. You'd actually have to put something in front of me, though, to know about it. I won't be able to be like, uh, th- uh, uh, this is this and this and that, you know? And even English, like, I was on an uphill. I was getting better at English. I probably should fucking better my English for other shit I want to do in my spare time. But, I don't know, man. Secondary school. Like, I do miss some of the teachers genuinely. I do miss friends. I just don't miss the system. I don't miss the actual building. Like, sure, I might visit it just, like, during April or May just to take the piss, but uh, I know my uh, teachers and shit, they all said, like, sure, you can come back anytime you want if you want to just, like, be there. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But, yeah. And the last question of thy podcast this week is... Did you ever consider using SoundCloud for a podcast episode? Now, I don't know if I answered this last time or the time before, but I thought, I thought I'd put it in. It's uh, Gary likes to use a uh, YouTube comment, actually. I saw it, like, last second when I was, um, I think it was when I was finishing one of them up. I was like, oh, shit, I forgot about that. I'm going to put it next and may, if I already forget. Anyway, sorry. I'm fucking mumbling and not making sense. Um, I did consider it, but currently... The SoundCloud is only for the um, uh, Joe's Mixtape. Because currently I'm not taking SoundCloud very seriously. That's why Joe's Mixtape is there. Where my shitty singing is just, you know, there. I just realized as well, this is the first time I've ta- like actually drank water during this. How have I survived this long? Um... But honestly, I'll probably keep it in mind again. Like, maybe if I'm done all the episodes and people really like it, like, if I get a lot more attention from it, then I'll, like, upload a SoundCloud and ask iTunes if they can sell it there. Um, But other than that, not currently. (sighs) Man, isn't that an episode? 
I honestly don't even think we're going to get another hour long episode ever. Like it's all going to be this long. But honestly, it's better off this way. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the fifth say or sorry, the fifth episode of the Nightflyer podcast, St. Patrick's Day special. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. Obviously, like subscribe if you uh, really do like this podcast and want to see it grow and hit the bell. I will obviously continue this podcast further with like more support. Um, but currently, like I'm really fucking missing opportunity to make actual videos for um, Dark. Well, when I say actual videos, I mean cringy shit videos. But other than that, other than that, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. The podcast kind of does get in the way of that. Because every weekend I'm like, oh yeah, I could just make this video. But then like the podcast like, oh, you need to put in the timestamps and you need to do highlights. I should have just started this podcast so simple. Why did I make it so fucking complicated? I was going to upload fucking 10 highlights a week. What if I didn't even have 10 like points? How would I do that? Anyway, again, sorry. Rambling. As I'm going to keep excusing myself for. So again, make sure, give a like, and share around if you like the podcast. And uh, will I ever get a guest? Probably not. Okay, actually, that's kind of a lie. Maybe episode like 9 or 10 we could get one. Yeah, episode 9 or 10. I might see Journey's break, actually. Anyway, catch you guys next episode. See ya.